Okay, so we want to find the intersection of these two equations. And what you might notice is that in both cases we have right, an expression, x squared in this case, plus y minus 2 squared, and that equals 10. And then down here we have x minus 2 squared plus y squared also equals 10. So the transitive property tells us, you know, if you have one expression equal to 10 and another expression equal to 10, then they must also be equal to each other, right? Because they both equal 10. So when we set this problem up here, we can set it up to say that the first equation, x squared plus y minus 2 squared, right, equals x minus 2 squared plus y squared. They're equal to each other because well, we're assuming that they're intersecting at some point, and then therefore, if they're crossing paths, at some points they're equal. By setting them equal to each other, we can find those points. And this actually saves us a, a lot of time. So now we have to expand, right, the y minus 2 squared and the x minus 2 squared. So we get what? Well, we get x squared plus y minus 2 times y minus 2, and that equals, right, x minus 2 times x minus 2 plus y squared. And now we can use our distributive property. So we have x squared plus we have y squared minus 4y plus 4 equals x squared minus 4x plus 4. And quick recap, right, I got y times y is y squared. y times minus 2 is negative 2y, but then we have another negative 2y, which is negative 4y, and then negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. The same thing happens here, but with x, and then this is plus y squared. Now to simplify, right, we can imagine the first thing I would do is subtract y squared from both sides. Okay, the next thing I might do is subtract x squared from both sides. Right, I keep balancing this out. Then I would subtract 4 from both sides, and then we have this statement, negative 4y equals negative 4x. And I would divide both sides by negative 4. What's this going to do? Well, negative 4x divided by negative 4 is just x. And negative 4y divided by negative 4 is just y. So now we have this statement, x equals y. And what that means, essentially, is that these two equations will equal each other at points where the x and y values are the same. And we can actually substitute this back in to solve. I'm going to substitute it back into this formula right here, although I can choose either one. And all I'm going to do is plug in x for y because we know that when these two equations meet, x and y will be equal. So we have x squared plus x minus 2 squared equals 10. Now we just expanded x minus 2 squared over here, so we know that that equals, right, so we have x squared from here plus x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals 10. That's, that's what we just expanded before. And now when I simplify, I get 2x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals 10. Take 10 away from both sides, right, balance this equation, and we get 2x squared minus 4x, and then 4 minus 10 is negative 6, and 10 minus 10 is 0. So now I would factor out a 2, so we get 2 times x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals 0, and then divide both sides by 2. That'll cancel out the 2 for us, right? 0 divided by 2 is still 0. So now we have a quadratic, and what we have is x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals 0. And all we have to do now is factor this out, and that will tell us the x values that we're working with specifically, right? because we want to find exact values here when these things meet. So let me clear this up. Need some room to write. Okay. So let's clear that off. We don't need this arrow anymore. Okay. So now we have this quadratic. Let's bring it over here and refactor it. We have x squared minus 2x minus 3. If I factor this out, right, I'm looking for factors of negative 3 that add up to negative 2. So what do I have? Well, when you write x and x, well, I know that negative 3 times 1, positive 1 is negative 3, and if I add negative 3 and 1, right, so negative 3 times 1 equals negative 3, and negative 3 plus 1 equals negative 2, 
So I need the factors negative 3 and 1. Negative 3, positive 1. That equals 0. Now what I want to do, right, I'm assuming and solving for roots here, so either x plus 1 is 0 or x minus 3 is 0, or they both are. So solving for x, we get x plus 1 equals 0. Subtract 1 from both sides, x is negative 1. Or, we don't know which one yet, but x minus 3 could also be equal to 0, so therefore x could equal 3. So x looks like it could be negative 1 or 3. And when we plug these into our equations, we'll find our y values. So let's clear this out now. And the point is that well, we're just trying to find coordinates that work here. And now we know the x values of those coordinates, we just don't know the y values. Now before I go in and, I guess, plug them in, I should remember what I said before, which is that we know x has to equal y in these coordinates, right? That's what we found out before. So here, if we know x is negative 1, we also know what y is. It has to be the same thing. And if x is 3 here, so is y. And then we're done. We found those points. Now if we graph this, I think we can see how these things are interacting with each other. So let's just set this up. We have one equation, right? Our first one was x squared plus y minus 2. And that's also, I believe, squared. Yep. And that equals 10. Oops, 10. So we have a circle. There you can see it. And then our next equation, we have... What was that? We had x minus 2 squared, right, plus y squared equals 10, another circle. So here are the intersection of two circles, and you can see, right, where these two things meet. It's precisely what we said, right? We have negative 1, negative 1, and then we have 3, 3, right? Let's just take a look back. Right, and you can see that that's pretty much exactly what we have there. All right, so I hope this helped. Right, we're just this is basically the idea of what's happening. Two circles and they intersect. Uh, it's it's nice in this example to see how they intersect at two points. Uh, of course, they could intersect at more points, which is we'll discuss in other videos here. But in this one, they meet at two points. Hope that helped.